It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I'm practicing to chant the Mass at the 11 o'clock Christmas Eve service here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church. This is Father Matthew Kozlowski saying hello. You notice that I'm also wearing this fancy stole that goes along with a very fancy cope, which I'll be wearing for the first time this Christmas Eve. Sometimes people ask, what's the point of all this high liturgy? Um, incense is another thing that sometimes people have questions about, and we'll have that on Christmas Eve as well. Are we trying to somehow be more holy or more fancy or impress God or impress one another? Well, no, I don't think that's it at all. In Psalm 96, it says, Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Worship means giving ultimate worth to God. And holiness refers to the otherness of God, the way we experience God as being bigger than ourselves, and yet at the same time, um, intimately within us. You can experience holiness in all kinds of ways. We could be at the 5 p.m. service with all of our wonderful children running around with the Christmas Eve pageant. Or you could be, like I said, in the incense-filled room while I'm trying to hit all the right notes on the Mass. Let me give an analogy. Um, the best meal of your life may have been in a beautiful, fancy restaurant with high-quality gourmet food and wonderful silverware and glasses. But another best meal of your life might have been after a hike when you are exhausted and you are at the top of a mountain or sitting inside a tent and that peanut butter jelly sandwich tastes as good as the best filet mignon you've ever seen. It's the same with worship. One of the great things about Christianity is that there are all different styles of worship, and all of them, if we open our hearts to it, can allow us to experience the holiness of God, this otherness of God, which at the same time is God with us and God inside of us. It's about getting to that spot where we can maybe just let our hearts crack open a little bit and say to God, okay, uh, you're, you're big and, and you're there and I'm ready for you to come in and start molding me and remaking me for the plans that you have for the world and my participation in those plans. So for this Christmas season and on into 2013, my prayer for you is that you might experience the worship of God in holiness within a faith community, whether that's high or low or somewhere in between. This is Matthew Kozlowski signing off. God bless. Peace be with you.